Okay, today I'm going to show you to do some very simple retouching using Aperture. It's really a very powerful and very easy to use program and it has many, many tools, but I'm just going to show you a couple tools today just to kind of get your uh, interest wetted. So you look at this is a picture from Zion National Park here and it looks pretty nice, but there's some problems. It's a little bit washed out. Um, there's some asphalt over here, a row that I want to get rid of. I just want to pump things up and I want to do this as simply as possible. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Preset and you can see this option here called Quick Fixes. And if I hover over the various choices, I can see the different fixes that I would get. I'm going to go to Auto Enhance which often but not always gives a, a really good result and you can see the colors have just pumped up quite a bit now the picture is significantly better. I, I now want to get rid of this uh, asphalt over here and I'm going to go down here to this paintbrush and go to retouch and I have several choices. I can do repair or clone. Repair is sort of like a healing brush. Clone is of course a cloning brush. Um, I'm going to kind of bring this down just a little, well maybe a little bit more, bring this up, opacity up a bit, and then I'm going to option click, uh, that's my copy source, and I'm just going to start, oh, point on define, I did press option click, let's try it again, option click, see if that works, yeah, and I'm just going to kind of draw in a little bit of uh, this other foliage to kind of give it the impression of a little bit of, oops, I don't want that there, the impression of some grass throughout the whole field. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to sharpen up this mountain here to make it really stand out. And so I can just go to the sharpen option and here you can see I have detect edges. So this is only going to sharpen those things that are within my brush and it's going to exclude those things that are outside my brush. I want my strength to be kind of cranked up for this one because these are rocks and I do want them to look pretty sharp. And so we're just going to just highlight over here my rocks. Go up here too. And they're significantly sharper and they look really cool. Now I want to sharpen my foreground a little bit too but to a much softer degree. So I'm going to bring that sharpness down. And I'm just going to draw this over just to sharpen this, but not quite as sharp as the uh, rocks that I wanted. Very, very sharp. Okay, so what I've done here is I've done a little adjustment, taking a picture and uh, I think improving it significantly. To see the difference, we're going to look at the master copy. So that's the master copy. Here again, you can see the asphalt is kind of washed out. Um, not as sharp as it could be. And then we go into the finish copy with just a few seconds of work, significantly better. Here again, here's your master image and your improved image, master improved. And so that just gives you an idea about the ease of use with the Aperture and how it really is a, a pretty powerful program. Not as powerful as a Photoshop or even a Photoshop Elements, but for most of us, and in most situations, it's going to uh, give us the kind of controls that we want to take our pictures from ordinary to a little more extraordinary. Thanks for watching, and give my podcast a listen, Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike. It's free, and it's on iTunes. Bye-bye.